and the, the newest addition is that little blue microphone. Mm -hmm. And so what this gives you the power to do is to be able to search using your voice. That X1, uh, one of its biggest features is the searchability, that we have such a, a, a monster library of content. And again, it looks at TV in a different way where it's not just about the linear service, but it's about content. And so what becomes tricky then is how do you find that? How do you find what you're looking for? So um, let's say there's a TV show you, you love, or, or actually what's better is a movie. Let's say I love the movie Usual Suspects. And I can say, I've seen it 100 times, but I'd love to watch something like that. So I'm able to say, Usual Suspects. Yes. What's up? So it gives me a little background. Here's Usual Suspects. I can watch that right now. It's free on demand. Customers can watch this right now. But I can say, you know what, I have watched this a hundred times. I love that type of caper movie. So what else is like this? So then this helps you drill down and to be able to find, oh, this movie Confidence, I saw that, that was okay. Boy, Trance I've never seen, maybe that'd be a good fit. And then what this also helps you do for the consumer is it gives you the Rotten Tomatoes ratings, which is what the critics thought of it, and then the popcorn is users. What did they think of it? So you say 68%, 63%, it's not bad, it's not terrible. Uh, Phoenix, what do people think? Oh, they didn't have it. Inside Man, yeah, good ratings there. Oh, maybe I'll watch Inside Man, people seem to like that a little better. But then you can also drill down and then say, well, who's in that? Oh, this is the usual suspects. It's to say, cast and crew, like who is that guy who's in it who I always think is good, but I never know his name? Yeah, this guy, who's Kaiser Soze's buddy. Pete Possible, what else has he been in? And you can dive down into him. And you can say, oh, oh, he's in Aliens 3, he was in The Constant Garden, he was in Lost World. Boy, I don't remember him being in that. That it helps you really drive down into all the content. And it all starts with being able to just use your voice as opposed to having searched through this labyrinth and find all the content. The voice also gives you the ability just to do some simple things, like say, tune to Disney. It goes right to Disney. So if you don't remember what channel number things are, this is a great tool for that. And that we're also getting a lot of great feedback from seniors and folks who sometimes have a harder time with finding exactly what you're looking for with the buttons and the dexterity of that. And I, I have a young daughter who loves the voice remote.